Hi, this is David, and I believe this is entry four. Um, so today was Thursday, and Thursday meant that I saw grades three, no, sorry, grades four, and, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I saw grades, combined grades two, three, which was 24 students, and I also saw grade two again. So I only had two classes today because on Mondays I teach four, so the balance is three classes a day. Um, today went really well, I think, uh, much better than the previous days. Um, you know, they say practice makes perfect, and at this point I'd be inclined to agree. Um, it's a pretty interesting uh, time, uh, uh, especially having 24 kids. That's double the biggest class I think I've already, or the biggest class I've had. Um, yeah, so um, the second and third graders, there's a lot of them, but they seem to be pretty well behaved on the whole. Um, there's like two kids who are kind of loud and don't really want to pay attention to class, but um, most of the other kids will kind of coerce them into going along with class, which I thought was uh, pretty nice. Um, today's class started at 2, but I still got there at like 11, just because I like having time to prep and I think it looks good. Oh, another interesting thing, um, before I got to school, on my walk to school, because I got off too early again, um, I heard this, Div, Divi, Divi, and I didn't know where that was coming from. I thought it was from coming from my classroom, but I kept, I, my hearing made me pull off to the other side, and I looked, and I looked, and I saw a little hand go up, and it turned out to be my principal, who was in the garden, and so I went over, and I looked in, uh, I walked, I sat down, and he put his gloves down on the, on the be on the uh, sidewalk and I sat down and we sat for about 15 minutes talking about um, how the teaching's going and my family and how I'm getting on in Korea basically and it was pretty interesting um, he's very nice and although um, he's a little intimidating um, he's still very very nice um, his English is is okay, I guess, for for someone who's never formally taken classes. Um, mostly, it's three word sentences and a lot of nodding and saying okay, which I'm fine with because um, I think I can. You can put a lot into three words. Um, I might sound like a joke, but you really can put, especially with the like, intonation and emphasis. There's a lot you can say in three words, and. Um, Today was gardening day, I guess, or pruning day, or hedging day, or something, because all the teachers were wearing, um, like, really comfortable clothes, like exercise clothes, and um, then when I was leaving school at, like, 4.30, I saw that they um, they were, like, all outside for some reason, eating, ch eat, about to start eating, and I was going to just go to the bus stop and start waiting but the principal saw me and was like oh David come here come here and he's like eat 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 and I said okay and they had like a good a nice little spread of food for um, the teachers and I felt bad because you know they had been um, basically like weeding all day and I just kind of just walked up and ate some of the food I didn't want to eat too much they had um, fried mandu or dumplings and they had a f fried chicken with a spicy sauce. They had dumplings with spicy sauce. Um, they had some Western food, which was tater tots and French fries. And they were like the Orida kind, the kind that come in a red bag. And uh, they also had, um, oh, they had some more traditional Korean food being, they had sundae which is kind of like a black sausage. Um, if you've ever had black sausage before, you know what I'm talking about. I think a lot of European cultures also eat it. It's basically uh, blood sausage. Um, they, 
they take pig's blood and they mix it with rice and some seasonings and then they put it in a tube and it kind of coagulates and they steam it usually. Um, so that was good. Um, they also had liver and the liver was pretty good too. You know, um, my chopstick level is pretty good, but I'm always a little scared when I have to like kind of hold stuff and then like, because they had the food on a, on kind of a table and everyone was picking off of it. And so kind of getting, getting my, uh, holding the food and then, and then getting it to my face was about a five foot, um, distance. So that was a little bit stressful, but not that, not that bad. Oh, and the other funny thing was they had, um, makuli, makuli, which is like, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's basically rice wine that's not, that's filtered, but not filtered to the degree as something like a sake or soju or baijiu. Um, it's, it's basically a little opaque. It's white looking and it's a little, I don't know if it's natural. I'm pretty sure it's natural. It's a little effervescent and, um, it's a little sweet. It's a lot sweet, actually. And the ABV or the alcohol by volume is not as high as something like a, as a soju or sake. It's pretty low. Um, it might be like eight, eight, seven or eight, maybe more. I don't know. But they poured, everyone started drinking that. And um, that was interesting because it was kind of daytime still. Um, but to be fair, it was early evening. It was around like four. 40 by the time they broke that stuff out um but yeah the teachers i'm learning more and more that just like in a lot of the other asian cultures the drinking is a big part of it a big part of the culture here um so th i think that that about wraps up my day um the second and third grade class like i said was huge but worked out pretty well and then i had second grade again um an hour later at three uh, 40, and that, that was interesting, um, there's only 10, but they're very well behaved, um, unlike the first graders, the second graders were awesome, like, they just sat there and heard me speak, and then participated in activities and songs and all that, and that was really fun, um, tomorrow, I actually see the first, the first graders again, and then I see the second graders twice in a row, so, I don't know what exactly we're supposed to do for, um, well, I know, I know what I'm going to do, but it's kind of an, an interesting, an interesting challenge to see the same grade back to back on the same day. So, uh, I hope it goes well. Um, there's one girl that's pretty good, um, or knows English well already. And so I'm a little, um, little, uh, uh, hesitant, or not hesitant, but a little worried that she might get bored because she got a little bored today during uh, weather, weather class. So um, that's about it. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow. And um, all right. Thanks for watching.